Noises Off opened last night in the McCaskey Lyceum, but with another performance on the way tonight, the hard-working and sleep-deprived members of the cast aren't quite off the hook yet. When I did a preview for this piece a few months ago, director Matt Kern said the thing that he looks forward most to seeing is how his cast could progress. And now he says they've even preceded his own expectations. I was right to look forward. It was, they have come so far and they have had to deal with so much stuff. That set, as you can see, is still being built as we speak. And they have been so good. This is, I have been in 15 or 16 shows. This is one of my favorite casts that I've ever worked with. And for my first time as a director, having that level of partnership and understanding from them is really, really, like, I'd like to say it's a credit to myself, but it's really a credit to them. While they have been working hard to get ready for the play for the last few months, the cast makes the point that each role has its own challenges. It's a stretch role for me, for sure, because uh, she's way out of my comfort zone of roles that I've been doing before, because she's a little bit more risque than I would typically end up being. Um, but it's, it's challenging because there's, there's two different characters that you have to be, so you're acting as somebody else being somebody else, which is a really neat challenge. Despite all the hard work, whenever asked, the cast time and time again praised their director for his ability to push them and relate to them in a way that made them feel like a unit. Matt has done really good. He's had a lot on his plate recently, but he's never lost focus on getting this and working with us and making sure everybody's had the right amount of attention for certain things. He's helped everybody get their accents down, which we all had to learn a British accent in IPA format. We've had to learn how we are moving, but he didn't like micromanage us. We also had some freedom in what we chose and what we did, which is really helpful, but he definitely made sure everybody's doing the right thing and helping everyone he could. The Warburg players hope to see that unity pay off once again tonight. For Cedar Valley Today, I'm Ryan Riebenecker.